So in this lab, I'm going to go through the work for Excel Lab 3, formatting. You'll have to start by getting the Excel Lab start sheet. If you click on it in most of your browsers, it will download and you'll either see it in a downloads file or in mine it's here on the screen. First thing you want to do is enable editing. and make sure that you have that up. I'm going to drag my directions off to the side of the sheet and we'll go through it together. So we're going to format the worksheet. In the title area, we're going to select and center cells A1 through F1. So this is A1. And we'll click in it here and we'll drag over to F1 and that ends where we're actually doing data entry and I'm going to merge and center that cell. So it all becomes one cell. We're going to change it so that it's bold, and then we're going to change the size in the merged cell to a font size of 20. And we're going to change the background color of the cell with the paint bucket here, your fill color, to blue. Pick any shade you like. And we're going to change the font color of the cell to white. That's this one. Then we're going to move on to the data table headings. We're going to merge and center cells A2 and A3. You'll notice it's a blank line underneath here. So merging and centering will merge them up and down as well. We're going to change the vertical alignment, that's this one right here, to the middle and we're going to change the width of the column to 25. It's at 32 right now. You can drag, or if you were to right-click, you can go into column width, and you can just specify 25. I find that easier if I'm trying to do something precise. I'm going to use the Format Painter, which is right here. It's your paintbrush. To copy the format from A2 to A3 to B2 and B3. that doesn't automatically change the size, so you may need to do that manually. We're going to change the size of it to 20. And there you go. We're now going to wrap the text in this cell so that it, you can read everything. And that button's right here. And then we're going to merge and center C2 and D2. And then we're going to select rows 2 and 3. Make everything in those rows bold. We're going to change the width of column C to 12. We're going to change the width of column D to 14. We're going to center cell C3 and D3. So you're just going to center those. And we're going to set um, select columns C and D at the same time. I've just clicked down and drag over so I can select two columns at exactly the same time. And we want to use the comma formatting. And we don't want any spaces, so we're going to use a decrease decimal to get rid of the spaces. Now we're going to copy the formatting from the B2, B3 cell this one, Format Painter, to E2, E3. And we're going to change the width to 16. And 
and then we're going to copy the formatting from B2B3 to F2F3. And we're going to change the width of column F to 17. Okay, and that's it for the headings. I'm going to let you get that far, and we'll pick it up in the next video.